Yo, yo, Joe, Joe. It's been a while. I haven't seen you in, what, a week? Since last Friday, dude. Incredible. Remember back in the radio days, we'd have, like, greetings for each other. Remember the Ron and Ron? More on the balls. I do. I got a, I got a new one for the whip. So for every Friday night, it's time to work the balls, baby. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Hi. What a wonderful day it is today in our money-based economy. Well, yeah, that's sit too back filthy and relax and already. get ready for the guy who's about to ruin everything. I'm puzzled. Uh, are you really seriously suggesting that Jesus Christ was a mushroom? Wait. Jesus was a mushroom, Roberts. Yes. You are dealing with a, a secret cult, a secret society. Welcome, Welcome to Waning Interest. Welcome, welcome to the Waning Interest Podcast, number 148, June 21st, 2024, The Babbling Dabbler, smallest click on the internet and proud of it. Pinball brain and favorite machine, it's like a diary or a book, not a stale or coherent, or if, uh, my oak, my oak? Oh my god, I'm totally fucking up the open, this is awesome, what a great return. <laughs> or, <laughs> sorry Bill. If uh, Mikey and Mouth from the Goonies played a lot of bareback leapfrog, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then, uh, what is it? I don't know how long it was, but uh, Susie popped out first. And then there we were. There we were. Copyright? No. Yeah. Uh, we are live on Facebook, Rumble, YouTube. And then uh, it'll be up on the Patreon and all the other stuff. And bada beep, bada boop. Uh, yeah, become a whip. It's cheap. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, hey, oh, your balls. Mm -hmm. I Susie's, just gave them back. Susie's got balls. <laughs> I had to give them back. What does, uh, what does Juan Jest? <laughs> oh, I understand. Totally understand. <laughs> Some people are into certain things. What? When? Because mm -hmm. it's green. No, it's chartreuse. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> Friday. It's Friday. Like it means much, but it's Friday. Oh, that's what I meant to pull in. Ooh, gross. Um, what? Uh, just, just looking at my fucking notes, and uh, there was something that I that uh, I found during a Lord's, where the fuck is it? Uh, a lo where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. A Lord's um, um, uh, rehearsal where I <laughs> just turned, I, 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 re I don't remember it being real. I'm pretty sure I did it with my mouth. God, this is so filthy and we're only fucking three minutes in. Um. But anyway, uh, uh, this is from Flash's phone, and because it's a better phone, he's got the iPhone, so it's not as shitty as when I do when I record the whole thing on my phone. So instead of just hitting the thing and recording the whole rehearsal like I do with my phone, that's way behind. See, it's 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 full of fucking innuendo. Um, I can't help. It. <clears throat> You'll see why um, if you keep watching or listening. Um, so with his phone to try to get some better audio, uh, we set up his phone and then I, w I was stopping it between songs. So it didn't, you know, just keep recording. And this was one where I, uh, had hit record again. And, but when Flash sent me everything, he sent me this part separate. <laughs> why what? why are you doing this? Your browser is having sh trouble sharing your video. This can happen if the file is invalid. <laughs> Great. What? A s Jesus, talk about a fucking setup with no punch. I had no... Why? Why are you, why are you doing this shit to me? Hold on one second. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Wh what's wrong with it? It's five seconds long. Why, why won't you... What, why you gotta fuck my shit up? Oh, man, this is... <laughs> This AI. is bullshit, dude. AI is going to have a ball with this section. Oh, man. Technical difficulties. I didn't... 
I just remembered it and I had it set up and why won't it, it won't let me pull it in. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know if I want to give it away or save it so I can fix it later and, and, and use it, you know, yeah, clean it up, dust it. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Why you got room or shit? It's okay. <clears throat> we'll get okay, it, I'm over we'll it. Get it eventually. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move on. I'm, we'll get over it because uh, you know how we'll get over it? We'll get over it with this shit. Yeah. Oh. What up? What the fuck? He was enjoying uh, Hoochie Coochie Man. Weren't you? Huh? And I'm like, hey, why did the music stop, bro? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Huh? Do something so I can end the video good. <laughs> Hurry up, quick up. All right. Apparently, you're going to win this fucking staring contest. Hey? Hey? No, now I don't want to lose. Let's go, Holmes. Ah! Quit. Witter. Whoa, what was that? That was a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Shooting star. <laughs> right on. Okay, now we're over that whip toot. Didn't didn't play. Fuck. I'm gonna save that for 149. That is. Yeah, I don't know. Man, more on the balls. That is some bullshit. It's so funny how they look right at you. Oh, the deers. Yeah. Oh uh, man, and that seriously, I would. That's what I was. Uh, the the window was open, and uh, on my phone, Hoochie Coochie Man, the slash Billy Gibbons version was playing. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to check that out. That version is great. If uh, you haven't, um, and uh, that's where I noticed where I just looked over and went, "Oh shit!" And then he was, it was uh, staring right at, staring right in, and then uh, so I stop the the music so i could start filming and then uh kind of was like what, what the fuck as soon as i and then i went wait let me turn the music back on and i hit the music again and all of a sudden boop <laughs> and then uh and then i was able to then i had to because it wouldn't do both at the same time it's not by smexual uh by um can't play the music and record at the same time. So anyway, when I yeah. started recording and I just was talking, you know, and it kept staring. So anyway, yeah, it was uh, totally into the music. And uh, like I've said before, normally um, uh, if I have the windows open, it, like last year it was and the year before, if I had Skinnered fucking blaring all of a sudden, oh, look, look, look who's in the backyard. Look who's in the front yard. Um, I don't know. There is a, there is a thing with the music. Um, so hmm. there. Does Ichabod like music or just nuts? Oh, no, dude. Did I forget to pull that one up? Just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so filthy, girl. <laughs> um, I didn't, I don't, do I have, I don't, I didn't, shit. You got the Ichabod one? You mean, you talking about the one with the, where uh, 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 the doors is playing? Yeah. I didn't Let's send that see. one to myself, so it's yeah. You're gonna do that, and while we're, you're doing that, I'll I'll play the hedgehog. What's up, homeboy? <laughs> I just want to see him run because you know they they funny. This was the first one though. What up, hedgehog? Or is that a boa constrictor? Hmm. You're welcome. I just mowed, so I obviously gave him a few meals. You go, boy. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry. What? Is he playing dead? No. Oh. All right. That's enough of that. There you go. Um. Did you find it? <laughs> Oh, and that's, and that, you know what, and because of the fucking music, you have to, we won't even be able to play it all at, at, at once. It'll have to be, uh, mm. it'll have to be in, in, in sections, you know, and cry, it'll be, in, don't do that. Do you have your video with your, um, your little farm there? 
that you Did sent me. Did I forget me? to do that one? Did I forget to? No, like, oh, I got the garden. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a little Guns N' Roses reference. In the garden. Oh, copyright. Oh, yeah, I got that one, too. Is it finally, oh, there, it's finally recording, yeah. Gonna have one of these bad boys, my own. That's on top. And not just for weed. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sexy ass new. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. Bad boys, my own. Pause on. Damn it. Yeah, that's my friend Mike's uh, garden. Um, and uh, he's killing it. And uh, so there you have it. And uh, um, next year. I'm going to have one just sort of, kind of like it. It's pretty cool. And then, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> right on. Right on. That's not really what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was this. Oh, what you think about that boy? That's what I'm going to be like. That's what I'm going to be like. I'm going to be like that every morning when I have my garden. I'm gonna walk out <laughs> to the garden and on you. Oh, what do you think about that boy? Anyway, how's Susie's garden? Ew, see, it's just full of it. It's gross. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> you were all about your hoo ha in 147. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because the AI didn't mention your hoo-ha. No, so disrespectful. <laughs> Don't be respectful to the hoo-ha. And after reviewing 147's AI rendition, once again, my hoo-ha was ignored. That's fine. Oh, do you hoo -ha, have that? Hoo -ha, oh, hoo -ha. That, oh, yeah. Do you have that? Or is that... Uh, that I have first? it. This is Ichabod. Let me see. I want... I, uh, oh, do so, I have... Oh, I do have volume. Okay. So this... Um, this... Uh, this should be the one where mm -hmm. uh, I noticed... Uh, I had... Backdoor Man was playing the doors. And, uh, and I just walked... I walked into the kitchen and noticed on the back... Out the back door... Uh, right there on that little step uh, was Ichabod during <laughs> Backdoor Man. Anyway, go ahead. Of course, you can't hear it. You can't hear it at all? Cannot hear it. Hold on. I lowered it because I thought it was going to oh, be too the, loud. Oh, uh, because the music too. Yeah. Hold on. Can you hear that? Of course not. This is going so awesome. Anyway, uh, no it's sound. okay. Yeah, no, there's no sound for some reason. Uh, I'm not muted right. on this end. No, and I can hear it, and I have share sound. All right, everybody. No, oh, we're killing is, it. Yes. Murdering. <laughs> um, well, there's Ichabod. That's a nice little pose he ended up on. But during Backdoor Man, I go back there and... Uh, 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 back to back, and I uh, just walked into the kitchen and noticed him out there during that. Oh, that's how funny! Yeah, but during back, is he is he doing that on purpose? Maybe. See, it's back to the music. Back to the back, 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 back. Stop mm -hmm. fucking saying that. See, I'm self aware. Oh, man. Let's get back to the hoo-ha. No. I don't. <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, no, there was there was uh, somebody I saw earlier today, and, and um, yeah, it was, the hoo-ha came, came to the head. <laughs> Didn't even mean that. <laughs> I think it's the coffee. Sure. Or the, yeah. uh, or the. Apple juice? The the um the beer that you bought by mistake according to AI. You mistakenly the, purchased it. What's going on here? Oh here we go. All this right, is so. from this is the AI summary from 147 I Sty and Titiska. <laughs> it's all and about you the know, injuries. 
<laughs> Do you know that it had all the same stuff again about the medical equipment and the caprice and all that stuff again? I think AI is, you know, conversing with old AI and they're just like, just throw that in there, you know, bad editing. Is distractions so, an insult? I don't know. I, <laughs> distractions disconnected. So the host joke about risque encounters and the importance of cleanliness during sexual activities. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, yeah, I just, this was, have, this I've, is everywhere. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you read it? This, this, despite the seemingly disconnected nature of the conversation is the way AI ends every single paragraph. But see the same, the Coney meter, all that stuff. Funerals, everything we talked about like three podcasts ago. So this is, you know, same thing, the Han Solo, none of that. Here we go, the humorous experience at a store where he mistakenly bought the wrong beverage instead of Guinness. Uh, wasn't a mistake. They didn't have the goddamn Guinness. <laughs> and then you scratched yourself and it got hot. Scratched himself and it got hot. Oh, 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 because it blended the, the story of uh, scratching my titty on the with the with the with a tree branch and uh in the hot, in the fire that I was, that I was, yeah, my bon, mm -hmm. my bonfire. Does it, it mention the about, fucking fire? Uh, no, no, not about the fire. Rude. It just said the com comedic style of Eddie Murphy or Delirious. It did say that, but no. Then it talks about, you know, the whole toilet paper thing we were doing. And then the conversation then shifts to technical difficulties and a potential sidetrack. I fucking told you. And I think I'm pretty sure in that moment, you, if you go to that that minute there, it's it, funny, oh, I, I, froze. Thought, I think I said, oh, you know, they're going to say this. I froze, yeah. With the hosts expressing their opinions on various topics before returning to the main topic. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was that? And then, um, you know, the true romance and I Carly thing, because we were reading the last um, AI but there seems to be a misunderstanding about who the sponsor is. Because the last again. AI Man, said something about the sponsor. Like a, oh my God, this feels yeah. like a goddamn deja vu. And then despite the Which seeming... Which makes it more trippy when you're live on the internet. <laughs> despite... That, you know, two viewers. What? Yeah, despite the seemingly disconnected nature of the conversation once again. Oh, fucking rude. Oh, so if you oh, want disconnected... If you want some disconnected conversation... Join us. Mm. All right. This discuss various topics that seem unrelated. More on the balls. Reference to that was on purpose, bitches. Go ahead. Reference to a previous podcast about a monster truck driver named Brian Mackey. They go back to oh, Brian fucking... Mackey All right. again. Oh, don't ever say that yeah. word again. Don't never say that name again. Oh, this, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. This is this feels like the worst deja vu ever. Okay. Here we go. With one host recalling a story about shooting himself in the eye and how it reminded him of a podcast host named Aaron Summers. <laughs> Happy honey bears. The conversation then shifts to wearing safety goggles. They're going to say about, they're going to mention what the hell I, how I shot myself no. in the eye. No, they are also censor themselves. Rude. Mm hmm. All right, and then this is about the, the uh, singing, you know, that singing stuff we saw. The hosts reminisce about a past recording session where one of them, Wayne, froze during the live stream. <laughs> oh my god! I wonder if that was when you were going when you were mentioning your hoo ha, and then I just kind of fell, and you're like. Come back. Who knows? That's Maybe. probably what it was. That might have been what it was. <sighs> and then yeah. the conversation then shifts. We shift a lot to a discussion about religious cults in California with one host jokingly suggesting that the other might have been in a cult due to his past association with the zeitgeist movement. I did not say that. No, I was saying. <gasps> you were the people, one saying it. Yeah. That, yeah. 
people when I, you know, was pushing AI. that shit years ago. They were they thought it was a cult. No. And then the conversation then shifts to the sisters of Welber. I don't think it was Welber. With one host expressing interest in joining their cults. Oh, it says calls. I didn't even see that. They're cults. Oh. The conversation is filled with interruptions and misunderstandings. What? Why? Because green, purple? <laughs> no. Just keep that, doing that. Mm, oh my God, that's all jumbled. It hurts my eyes. The conversation is interspersed with humor and lighthearted banter as the speakers Aww. share incorrect information and correct misconceptions. I don't know what that means. Oh, where is it? Oh. Windshield wipering our shit. This is great. The speaker also mentions a few random topics, such as a rail of coke <laughs> in a cult or anime titled Training Center for the release of the Atma Energy. Well, at least they got that right. And then, you know, this is this is the uh, part where, where you were even telling 30 me. 30 minutes in and we got a cocaine reference. I point. know. <laughs> right after that was when you were telling me if I could, you were asking if I could hear the the animals outside that was oh, right after that. yeah they didn't even um didn't even mention that oh my god all right yeah this is all like the students use of the phrase all of a sudden oh when you were talking about the pizza Hut, repeatedly irritated the host who mentioned it being a pet peeve <laughs> yeah <laughs> irritated oh Oh. <laughs> the cook and see here see they didn't they didn't mention the name of my song the host also attempt to identify the love theme from attack of the clones did you have a song about your hoo-ha what song the the name that i entered kiss my clitters oh <laughs> <laughs> hello ai oh sorry i got lost for they a also never they also never mentioned space orgasm. That was oh, the other song. Jesus, man. Exactly. This is so filthy. Keep going. <laughs> this was all the Star Wars, um, the the trivia that we were doing. But oh, yeah, oh, nothing. the game. Yeah, there's nothing. Good. Yeah, the hosts also make a lighthearted comments about shopping and going to the bathroom. Of course, it's all, yeah, it's all, well, it, it, well, we're back to the lighthearted bathroom stuff because when I was constipated, it wasn't very lighthearted. It was no. very heavy. All right, the hosts become distracted from their intended topic. Really? I never thought that would happen. And they discuss various unrelated matters. Bobby returns to the podcast. Bobby came oh. back. And they express their shared love for Robert Smith. <laughs> Welcome back, Bobby. Welcome back. <laughs> of course, I don't have that thing written at fucking oh, ready. My but God. Then I'm we were trying to find that tweet. Man, and I, I said, I can't believe I, I couldn't know. play my toot. The conversation shifts to Jack Skellington and Cuban references before the creator decides they have had enough and signs off. It's cool. Expressing. Expressing a desire to take out the garbage and go home. <laughs> Ooh, I guess I didn't watch that far. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. More the balls. Uh, and then this is the the whole. Um... There you go again, Daryl. Jesus. I said hole. Um, <laughs> yeah. The conversation remains lighthearted and humorous with no medical advice or expertise offered. We never said you should come here for any expertise Aff or medical advice. Affectionately referred to as a titty scar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my I think Christ. that was it. Yeah. Oh, there was something about the fire, about the, you were interrupted. Did I not highlight that? You were interrupted during the show. The... It says, hold on. There was this thing, a scratch thing that you just went by that was blue. I don't know if that was part of it. 
No, no. It's the scratch. Yes, you scratch yourself and it got hot. <laughs> Potential sidetrack. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh getting a little tired of their shit that uh little AI segment might be uh this might be the last one. Yeah, there it's it's doing the same thing over and over again. You know? And it's it is making us crazy. It's yeah. like a gaslighting piece of it shit. Is, it is crap. Sometimes uh, it's funny, but but not tonight. <laughs> At least not anymore. Oh, uh, let's, get let's do the. Yeah, let's go better. Let's go. You do? Do you have the Larry King thing? Do you have that? Yeah, I do. That'll be. Uh, let's, that, that that's a guarantee laugh. But let's see if you can hear this one. Maybe it was just that other one that you couldn't hear because. No. What? Wait a minute. What do you I, have here? What do you have here? Do you have it correct? Uh, oh yeah, you got the YouTube one. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and hit play and see. Let's try. Nope. I got nothing on my end. Ooh, again. This is where we go back to the toilet paper talk. Can you? Oh, crap. I froze. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Did know I freeze you... when it started playing? I was too busy trying to. Uh... To you know, uh, talk over the uh, not hearing anything, <laughs> so I wasn't even looking at your video. I was I, I I'm I got right, I'm lost gonna... in, the, in Larry's Larry's gaze as well. Oh, I said gaze. <laughs> All right, let me get out of there, and I'm gonna re like go back on this. You know, put the screen back on. So I'm sure. gonna stop it and try again. I don't know why we're not having sound. I get the sound. I get the sound from. <laughs> Totally can hear that. Uh, but no, uh, the other stuff you've. Let's uh, try it again. Let's. Jeez. Oh, All right, tell me. People coming up into the field. Like I. There we go. There we go. Okay, now. Did you hear? Um, go ahead and yes. No, I was here. Did you hear anything? Um, now, yes. Uh, so bring it back to the front okay. and then I'll set it up with, um, so what this mm -hmm. is, this is a call from, is when, uh, Larry was doing, uh, was it, he was in DC. What the hell was it? I can't remember. Anyway, he was national and he had done many nights in a row, whatever. And, uh, Neil used to play this and, uh, I'm sure other people played it and, but there's a lot of people who haven't heard it and it's so funny. Where this kid, you know, a caller calls up for, you know, asking him one thing and he just goes into another. And there's just, it, 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 now because of this, whenever I hear certain words, this is what comes to mind. And uh, anyway, it's, uh, it, it, enjoy. This is so fucking hilarious. I was doing a print journalism. And I just wanted to know, uh, what advice do you have for young people coming up into the, Field. Like, I, a lot of uh, prof professors are telling us how hard it is to get into the field at first. They're just like, you know, since you're in the field, do you have any advice on that? For instance, experience is that important? Uh huh. Sure. But is, that, is that probably the most important uh, element? Well, it's way up there. It's way up there. Anything, anything else? Anything you need to Pressure do? under fire. Mm -hmm. Done this before. I don't want it to be his first uh, surgery. Okay. Slide himself well. These are things I have confidence in a young MD. Okay. I'm talking about journalism field. <laughs> I'm lost. What do you mean? <laughs> journalism. I like. I'm, I'm a student of journalism at a college, and I was just wondering the most important. I am exhausted from 30 nights. No, no person, even those of us who are superhuman, those of us with uh, Herculean 
for the diverse and the bizarre. Even those of us who uh, have shown an aptitude to uh, to uh, uh, fight the good fight and stay the good long battle, even those of us can get tired. And your boy is tired after 30 consecutive nights. I have a half hour to go, and I'm going to do that half hour because I'm a pro. That's what pros do. I'm a professional. Look it up in the book. Okay. That's what we do with pros. We're never rude. We don't cop out. We don't tell you that we're ill or that we're looking for the farmhouse in the middle of the desert or that we're parched. We don't tell you that maybe the check didn't come through this month and where the hell does it go anyway if you're a guy who's left me off and keeps dropping out. Okay. So what do you do? What is the answer? Yeah, you're a little perturbed now. Kind of worried about the club. I don't worry about the club. Worry about maybe Jackie might worry. <laughs> nah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, just make sure you know are 110 miles an hour and get no. promoted up the hurricane. I just thought I'd pass it along. We're gonna, speaking of pass it along, we're going to pass along now to the newsroom, the mutual newsroom, high atop the overlooking downtown, beautiful downtown studios of Washington, Virginia, Washington, D.C. The mutual newsroom will get us up to date on the news headlines, and we'll come back with a little more open phone. America will have our salute to my man, Duke Zebert, by taking him to uh, one of his favorite places, one of mine, too, the town of Cooperstown, New York. This is The Larry King Show in Washington, and we'll be right back. <laughs> now, um, keep that up there. But, uh, oh, shit. <clears throat> now bring it back now if we play it again what ha needs to happen because it, it yeah it's hilarious but the problem was we missed a few things because you need to either mute your microphone when it's playing because when you would laugh it dropped out mm -hmm. so there was a few things that we we missed in it oh. um okay so that's why I was reacting every once in a while going, what the fuck? We just, it just did drop out. And uh, oh, it's fucking driving me crazy <laughs> with fucking technical difficulties. Hey, you, fuck you, AI. And now I've got a fucking Adobe Flash bullshit popping up on my goddamn, oh, man. Wayne's going to have meltdown, y'all. <laughs> it's a good thing I have the beer. It's a good thing I have a joint what but anyway so yeah it was also because of your laughter yeah and it was yeah uh, drop the wand wand's gotta go unfortunately i hate to drop one but i think that's one of the things that that fucks us up as well having more than one thing up there from your end oh staying filthy mm -hmm. at least we're consistent anyway so now but i don't know if you if you play it again the like i said i don't know how you mute your microphone but if you hit play on it and then mute your microphone and see what happens uh, i'm a student of print journalism and i just wanted to know uh what advice do you have for uh, uh see that shit? it's going uh, uh, young it's people doing... come fast as they're telling us how hard it is to get into the field at first they're just like no if you're in the field do you have any advice on that well, it's Princess working. Experience is that important? Uh -huh. It's still working with your mic. Sure. See? Is that, is that probably the most important? Yeah, it's going in and out. And I'm uh, fucking well, kidding. It. It, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's driving me before. nuts. It's cutting in and out. I thought this was going to be fucking I way better. First, uh, it's still playing. Stop it. Get rid of it. I did. Oh, okay. It was still playing. See, it's all, it gets all messed up. I had a man. Oh, fucking A. Fucking, 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 fucking A. Next time, fucking we'll A. maybe just get the sound. <sighs> Is it finally? Oh, there. It's finally recording. Yeah. I'm going to have one of these bad boys of my own. That's on top. And not just for weed. <laughs> Speaking of weed. What up? I was enjoying uh, Hoochie Coochie Man. Weren't you? Huh? You're like, hey, why did the music stop, bro? Is that what you're saying? Huh? 
do something so I can end the video good. Hurry up, Quagga. Alright, apparently you're gonna win this fucking staring contest. Hey, hey, no, now I don't wanna lose. Let's go, Holmes. Ah! <laughs> Witter, whoa, what was that? That was a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Shooting star. Yeah, that's what that was. I'm calmer now, are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't know. We have the most preparation and most things ready, and that's what happens. See? Yeah, I'm done doing that. <laughs> doing, doing that. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. So the toot, my toot didn't work. And uh, Larry King, Larry King, yeah, if you, you can look it up. You can, yeah, I don't know if, you, if you're watching and you saw them, but I'll, we'll put the link in the thing. Put the, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it's so hilarious. Uh, and there's that, that, there's that one, uh huh, where he, you know, at the beginning of it where he does that, uh -huh, that's one of the drops that Neil used for forever. And uh, going to the drops. Uh, hopefully you can punch in because I can't see. Oh man, I gotta do this again. <laughs> there, that's that's your binoculars. It's not me. I didn't do that. Is that as far as you can go? I mean, there you go. That's better. Oh, go. perfecto, perfecto. <laughs> um. Oh, look. So now, now, so uh. The guy that does the uh, uh, the Neil Rogers thing. Look what he look what he added. We what was it? One forty six. We were talking about it. Maybe one forty five. Mm -hmm. The breakneck. Is it there? Yep. Oh yeah, there it is. So that whole story that I told about uh, the dude coming into the studio while I was trying to record uh, a tag for a commercial. Boy, my I'm getting dry. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Whoa, I'm getting deep. Um, anyway, it, you know, this is, what was this, 1990, this had to have been 97? Uh, yeah, had to have been 97. Hit play. play. I want to go out there and break that f***ing guy's neck. See how young I sound? <laughs> <laughs> and how perfect this is to be playing that shit with all the shit going wrong for the mm -hmm. fucking podcast tonight. Play it again, please. I want to go out there and break that f***ing guy's neck. <laughs> I feel better. You see how yeah, boy, I sound like such a baby. It'll be all right. So now you got to go down to the um, go to go to the U. So I think it's under uh huh. Go to U and uh, yeah, uh, we got um. There's the Larry King, or maybe it's under Larry King. Might be under Larry. Larry. Mr. Beckham was was sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Rookie. Oh, yeah, I, oh, shit. Uh, in a world where being, what? Dude, I can't, Which I can't, Susie I can't do a voiceover. It's confusing. <laughs> so you said, uh-huh, maybe? Or it's under, it's, it's either under you or Larry. There's uh-huh. Oh, there, yeah. Uh-huh. No, yeah. that's not the one. No, but it's no, Uh-huh right. King. It's right next to it. Uh-huh uh -huh. King. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's that I remember was, that. that. That was pulled from uh from the call that we just played. We're number oh, was one. It? We're number one, damn it. We're number one, damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh um I found the Break his neck. Uh, oh, wait. Go back to that wet fart. Of course. <laughs> he played that a lot. I remember that. <laughs> um, something. Oh, the, the, uh, an, an old Neil thing came up and I went, oh, wait. It, it said the, it was uh, what all the drops in eight minutes or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it had them, and he he does it so where they were listed and stuff. So I I read through it, and went, oh look look what's there. 
the transcript is in the thing in the description. So I, I showed him, I told him that's what it was, and so he uh, he pulled it out. Nice. And uh, and stuck it on the board, and that would be the perfect time for you to play it again. Well, I <clears throat> Um, I know, I know you're all over the place. It's all the way up breakneck. But, uh... I want to go out there and break that f***ing guy's neck. <laughs> oh, look, there's a balls one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jennifer Rim. Beware of exploding balls. That was a, uh... That was her lead. <laughs> her lead line. <laughs> before newscast. <laughs> I don't know what the hell the actual story was about, but... Uh, that was one thing that the news was known for at the time at IOD was their, uh, their leads, mm -hmm. um, uh, would always be kind of like, there was one Terry Griffin one, psst, want to smoke some pot? <laughs> and then there's one, oh, uh, so, oh, uh, uh, South Florida, go down to South Florida. There should be a Tom Hopkins one. I pulled this from one of his news things. I was in the in the control room, and he here's what one of his leads was a weed story. Was it and South it... Florida's South Florida's pot? Maybe it's under pot, but maybe it's not on there at all. But uh, South Florida's pot's not good. It's great. Uh, uh, I guess no, it's not there. It's not there. But he was the uh, he was the news director and. Anyway, and, the, and I was recording, and uh, he popped that one off. I went, oh, shit, I got to cart that up. And I did. <laughs> South Florida's pot's not good. It's great. <laughs> there was a story about the quality of the shit that they were finding and how the THC was higher and how strong it was. <laughs> In Florida. Man. And while I'm talking about Tom, I mean, it's... one of the... One of the, one of the it was so cool to be where, like, like if I was sitting, if this was where the control room was and the board, just outside this door, if I could lean a little bit and you go across the hall and I could see him in the newsroom at his cubicle with a coffee, and a cigarette, legs crossed, microphone right there, and reading out of the paper. And that's how you, you know, and Bo, that was his, that was during his uh, first news with Tom Hopkins from uh, 5 to oh, 6 a.m. Wow. My last hour of uh, my overnight shift was actually all tape, and then the last hour was live. That's hilarious. And Tom was the one that taught me, you know, a little boring inside uh, radio shit. He was the one that taught me, like, look what these, look what these people do to this log. Look, they got two car spots back to back. Now, always split up the car spots. Nobody had ever said that to me before. And then there was one time where I forgot to, and he came in and went, he didn't split the car spot. I'm, like, I'm getting, I'm a little tired, man. It's fucking, I've, been, <laughs> I've been working all night. I've been working all you day. Know. After a while, I don't think they cared. No, but uh, for just for me, you got to please hit happy perm. Happy perm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why don't you go, oh, now, just because you're Cuban, go back to Cuba. Go back to Cuba. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Why don't you go back to Cuba, you spit bastard? <laughs> now you got to oh play them God. all. Now you got to play them all. Go back to Canada, New York, <laughs> them all. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go back to New York, you wop bastard? The same guy. Why don't you go back to Canada, you Jew bastard? Oh my god. Same guy. <laughs> anyway. um, go screw yourself, so Rogers. Funny. Oh, look, does it say who it is? Oh, yeah. It does. Anyway, yeah. So I made the I made the uh, in more, in another way, you know, because I'm sort of on the, I was sort of already on the board, like I said, by, by making some of those other drops. But, mm -hmm. but actually, <laughs> it sounds so young. But mm -hmm. man, I can't believe that fucking yeah it had to have been yeah it was 1997. That's when we were in moved into that that building 
that studio, blah, blah, blah. What's next? Curses. Curses. <laughs> oh, curses. I don't know if I actually want to do that right now. Because it's a makeup thing. I have to, um, it's a story that I'm going to sort of change. Kind of like, you know, I, I have a friend who, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, it's funny too because the curse is sort of about it, it. It is kind of not to be. Yeah, it's about getting fucked, <laughs> but not in the good way. You know, it's the Sandy Dildo one, mm -hmm. uh, where shit just won't stop. You know, when you go out of your way because you know you've been around for a bunch of years and you've got some awareness. Look, you know, mostly because you're a tripper. And uh, and you notice uh, you notice certain things happen all the time, no matter what. And you and even though you know they continually happen, you go out of your way to make sure they fucking don't. And then somehow they still do. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say about that <laughs> right now. Alrighty. But the best part, the best part I can say this was um, uh, the more, the more I pointed out, the more, I don't know, I got, man, I'm lost, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm stoned, maybe, who cares? What's next? Do we have a game, I hope? I have the game page up, we could pick one. Oh, God, thank you so much. More in the balls. I'm kind of finished, but not. Uh, but anyway, I got to say, I at least finish with 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 this curse that I've, you know, this this another one has happened. Um, this thing that continues no matter what I do to try to not let it happen. And you know, at least there was somebody there to go. I see it another, and, and that's the that's the only reason I haven't, uh, you know. Uh, had more whiskey. I don't have whiskey. Do you have whiskey? I don't have whiskey. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know. Just It's just nice that uh, there was, again, I, at least, you got a witness? This is why we, like the lords, do the blues. The older you get, you understand more and more the blues. So, uh, uh, speaking of coochie... <laughs> Is this a game about coochies? I hope so, please. This is the question question that's like just a random question. Oh my god. Quick trivia music. I know that's not copywritten. I wouldn't know this answer, but you would. Can you see the question? In what cemetery is singer Jim Morrison buried? Oh, that would be Piala Jays. Excuse me. You are correct. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, so this is a, maybe it's just random questions. Oh, man, I forgot to ask my mom's friend uh, who just came back from there, London and Paris. I uh -huh. forgot to ask if uh, she went there. She would have told me. Hmm. All right, let's see what the next question is. I'm guessing it's no. It said tools. <laughs> Was it talking to us? All right. How's... This is an animal. What? What? Oh. I've never seen that fucking word before. Have you? Columberry? Columberry. Maybe. These birds were used in ancient times, both as food and as carriers of messages. I did not click chicken. What fowl is the world's oldest domesticated bird? I say it's pigeon. <laughs> It's totally pigeon, right out of uh, Game of Thrones, and uh, I just uh, that oh that's that's a good that would be a good that was something I would I would pull uh, for a drop. I didn't uh -huh. click chicken the way you said that. It was perfect. <laughs> yeah, it was clicked. I don't know why. Here's I mean, my answer. I didn't click chicken. You are correct. Of course you is. The pigeon family Columba has been domesticated by humans. By over 5,000 years documented. Damn. My gosh. 
we had to dissect a pigeon in biology class in high school. Was it what was it that Joffrey died? What was it that he ate that was poison? Wasn't it pigeon pie? Maybe. I don't remember. Pigeon yeah. Probably. Yeah. I think so. We have twenty points. We could do nothing with. The dove? I didn't know the dove was actually a pigeon. See, you learn shit here on the whip. Uh -huh. They kind of look like pigeons, yeah. Patreon.com slash waning interest. <laughs> Links in description. All right, here we go. Next question. Hurry up, quicker. Just kidding. Not. When? Ugh, I don't know this show. In the television show Two and a Half Men, what is Charlie's last name? That would be Harper. Here's my motherfucking answer. And you are motherfucking correct. Because they are brothers. Thank you for letting us know. Even though they don't look anything alike. All right. What Greek colony originally named for the god of the sea was later taken over by Romans and renamed Paestro? That sounds... Um, Pastry. That sounds like a that sounds like a, a bodily fluid. It does. Say again, what Greek colony originally named for the god of the sea was later taken over by the Romans and renamed Pastum? That's oh fuck. I, I don't know. Poseidonia? Poseidon is a god of the sea, isn't that Hercules? I'm gonna stay I'm gonna go with Pompeii. I don't know. Oh, are we gonna have to fight over this? Oh, <laughs> that was gross. Sorry. Uh, what know. were you going to say? Poseidonia. Fine. Poseidon is the god of the sea. All right, you're wrong. I want to close my eyes and click. Fuck. I am correct. Oh, 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 oh. I told you. <laughs> Founded by the Greeks, Poseidonia was first taken over by Lucanians, then later by the Romans. There are several impressive temples there, rivaling the Parthenon in beauty. Lovely. Mm. That's somewhere I'd like to go is to Greece. And everybody right, watching right Next now question. or uh, making their own impressive temple jokes. What? <laughs> All right. You want to read this one? Seeking to establish a French empire with French aristocracy. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't mean, I really didn't mean that. <laughs> and principles. Napoleon conquered which Ottoman ruled country first? I almost said fucking county. It's definitely not New Mexico. Or is it? No, but Ottoman ruled country. I'm going with it with the with the Egypt. I don't have a fucking clue. Me neither. And I'm hearing all the Which whips out there the going, Yeah, stop it. No, right? We're terrible. We don't know In a this. world where being witch Susie is confusing. Green. Green. What? Egypt. Here we go. Here's our answer. It's going to be wrong. Oh, of course. And then it takes its sweet time. Really? Is, is it? Oh. Maybe you, the way this comes across this again is. He first conquered Egypt to cut off British trade with India. Enlighten Egypt and dig a canal. Wow. He then used savvy diplomacy. Bl di Dip diplomacy. Diplomacy. I was going to tell you. <laughs> or war. Or war to bring in neighbors of France. Before long, he had Egypt, Belgium, Holland, Austria, Poland, Spain, and much of Italy and Germany. Go ahead. All right. All right. By 1812. No, I, I thought you were finished. Oh, reading. by 1812, France controlled much of Europe. 
Short-lived victory, however. In 1814, Napoleon was forced from his throne. Oh, jeez. I got forced from the throne, too. The fucking smell, man. I ran out. What? What? Okay. What do... Somebody got my, that. I know they did. You know, Maya Angelou. Throne, poo -poo joke. What? What do Maya purple. Angelou? It is purple, I swore. I swear. Joan Rivers and Robin Williams have in common. Oh my gosh. They didn't all die in 2014. I know that. I'm going with they all have the same middle name. But I know that's wrong. You know, Robin Williams died on our birthday. Just like Janie Lane. Mm hmm. Get out. Why do I not know that? Oh, there. More trip. Yeah, learn even more yep. on the whip. When? They have the same middle name, you said? Did Joan Rivers die on her birthday? So, no. No. <laughs> All right, here's our answer. Incorrect. Uh, they did all die in 2014? No way. Robin well, the, Williams died 10 years ago. It's been 10 years. There's no way. Wow. See, in August, Robin Williams. Yep. I used to watch um, an evening with Robin Williams. Uh, I, gee, I can't tell you how many times I watched that fucking, that special mm -hmm. when I was a kid over and over. An acne pimple when he holds the lady's drink, when he walks through the crowd. Uh-huh. Um, he starts messing with the hair. He got people's, oh, man, it was absolutely hilarious and then mm -hmm. of course to get older and find out that a lot of those jokes were bought and stolen when chartreuse and he was i mean this is known too right he was like always on cocaine when he was up on stage not right? always but uh certainly in the late 70s he uh yeah in the early 80s he partied a lot yeah he was he was one of the last people with john belushi oh wow hmm who died of a speedball. Yeah. All right. For the folks saying, what the fuck is a speedball? Well, for me, it's uh, cannabis and coffee. <laughs> and but the beer. one that John Belushi died of was uh, heroin and cocaine. Oh. A zing and a zang. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down, you go ping. You... Never done it. Wow. Uh, never will. Unless it's time to go. Go. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how, uh, what was it? Who said it? Was it was it Doug? Was it Stanhope saying he's going to save heroin for when uh, it's time to go? <laughs> he's you know terminally ill or whatever. And it's time to go. Yeah, that seems like a good way to say goodbye. I don't know. I think it was him. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Shit. No. It's uh, is that copyright? No. When? What's the question? In astronomy, what is this? Is where they say there was distractions. In astronomy, what is measured using Wolf numbers? I had a dog named Wolf. Don't do this with naked eyes. What the fuck kind of question is this? It just, just I think naked. Now we're saying naked. This is this is going to be marked as pornographic, uh, pornogra pornography, pornography. Yeah, I think it's sunspot activity. Because they're saying In naked astronomy, eyes. Astronomy. What is measured using Wolf numbers? Don't do this with naked eyes. You can't look at the sun with sunspot naked eyes. Sunspot activity. Yes, this one. Ready? I hope so. <gasps> wolf numbers measure the number of sunspots on the surface of the sun. Rudolf Wolf was a 19th century Swiss astronomer. Of course he was Swahili. Sunspot activity. While it was known that sunspot activity was cyclical, Wolf calculated its maximum cycle as being around 9 and a half to 11 years. Sunspots are temporary dark spots that appear on the photosphere of the sun. Among other things, they affect satellite communications. Yo, Exciting. Did you, notice, did you notice the reference to our birthday? Mm -hmm. Oh, 11 years. Yep. Synchronicities. Look at that. Oh, it's Jesus no, Christ. You're all chopping up. Somebody's, somebody's hacking Goodbye. you up with a, with a, with a, with a hacker. Oh, oh, it was the computer. It was the, it was. They the wanted to play a commercial. Oh, motherfuckers. Bastardos. You know, they know, they ask. He's a, exactly, because I hate fucking. Which of these occupations is in 
correctly, matched with the slang term associated with them. Which one is incorrectly I think I know matched? Which one it is. Hack, mm -hmm. lumberjack, bean counter this accountant, that is correct. Grease monkey mechanic, that is correct. Aimless chaser, yeah, it's the hack lumberjack. No, a hack is, uh, that was me as a bowler. <laughs> and everything else I do. <laughs> Except for being correct. Oh, a hack is to describe a writer hired to churn out routine or commercial work at a quick pace. I didn't know that. That's I know one. it's I know about poor or low quality work that I do know. Yes. Hmm. All right. We don't need to know what the other ones are because we knew. Oh, but there was a fun read, especially with the lawyer thing. It's one of my favorite parts of Back to the Future too, in the beginning when uh when uh, they go to 2015 and Doc is explaining to Marty everything, you know, what's going on and the whole thing. He's like, wait a minute, in 24 hours? He's like, well, hey, the justice system was really fast out that they've abolished all lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's, Which of the... It, like, you know, just to stay sexual with this, so it's totally marked as porn, you know, it's something that sticks out to me. Go ahead. <laughs> Which of the following is not a measure of astronomical distance? Oh, it's totally parsec because that's Star Wars-ness, which sucks. Balls. Back to the balls. More really? the balls. Parsec? Working parsec? the balls. Parsec, yeah. Parsec. They made the Kessel run in twelve pars less than 12 parsecs. What? Quasar. The... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck was it? Did I read the question wrong? Let's see if we can go back. I don't know if we can go back. Oh my God. Did I do so? What did I now do? Now it's my turn to have the weird animal sounds. Oh, are we talking about your hoo-ha again? <laughs> I'm going to tell one to go out there and hope it's not like an injured bird. I'm hearing something. It's, it's almost like You hear humping. it? Yes. I'm just trying to stay sexual. It sounds like somebody's humping. It sounds like a squeaky bed. Yeah, the um, those sandhill cranes, they kind of sound like that. But oh, so I don't know. somebody actually could be fucking right now. Oh, of course somebody's fucking. It's uh, Earth. I don't know. That's a decent punchline, I think. Maybe Earth. All right, Earth. Um. so Quasar. Now the people of the Earth is a punchline. Mm. What was the fucking question again? The other three are various distances, so I don't know if I hit back. Oh, so think... Parsec is actually real? Oh, I thought that was just some made-up Star Wars bullshit. That's why I went with no, it. No, I, I think they we were... used real stuff. Oh, my God. This is making me have to go pee. <laughs> oh, 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 who gets to say that word? Pogonophobia. Paganophobia. Paganophobia. Why do you have to go get it right before me? I don't know. Do you know this word? Rude. I have no clue what that, I've never seen that word before until just this momento. Oh. Well, this that's is probably, easy. That's probably what the phobia is. Uh, it's easy. <laughs> Pogonophobia is a phobia that two members of the rock band ZZ Top probably did not have. Beards. Come on, what are we in second grade? Watch your people. And, and, and okay. a lot of people, a lot of people, <clears throat> um, did, 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 a lot of folks don't know. That, it seem to be a lot of ZZ quote unquote ZZ Top fans that don't actually know the names of the of the members of the band. And the funny thing, one of the funny things that a lot of people don't seem to point out with ZZ Top is Dusty and Billy had those beards. Uh, the bass player and the singer and the singers and bass player, guitar player, and the one without the beard, the drummer, his name is Frank. Frank Beard. beard. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says here. Frank Beard remained clean shaven. Oh shit! I didn't even. I yeah, was the just word looking comes at you. from yeah. I wasn't even looking at the goddamn screen. <sighs> Keep up with the times, so, Wayne. See, we're the back Greek, to sex. The Greek word for beard is. Pogon, 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 mm. and Phobos. Get out. Formed in 1969. Ooh, that's when I was born. ZZ Top were a hard rocking trio. 
69. You notice that too? See, this is almost like Endgame with all the ass references <laughs> hidden that you can find if you go back. Two of the members, Billy Gibbons and Dusty Hill, were noted for their long, fulsome beards. So here's my. So I got two. I got stories for 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 Dusty and Billy. Of course, I've told the Billy Gibbons story before about when I worked with uh, Phil Hendry uh, at Premier Radio Networks, and I was uh, his phone screener, and I was in a little booth by myself, and uh, Billy was going to be on uh, Coast to Coast AM down the hall at 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., and uh, we were off at 10 p.m. and he got there early, and uh, the guys came in and said, "Hey, can Billy come in and?" He's a Phil Henry fan. Can he come sit in your booth and watch the show? And I said, go fuck yourself. And uh, and then when I said, dude, of course, I'm joking. Uh, of course, you know, Billy Gibbons in my booth with me, sitting in the little closet, uh, sitting over my shoulder. Kind of like where Jim is right now. That's where Billy was. Uh, uh, while I screen calls for Phil and, you know, between calls, he'd, is that, you, you got to say that to everybody? Like, Kind of, yeah, to weed him out real quick because Phil didn't want people that were in on the joke to participate. He wanted people that had no clue that was going on with his characters. Uh, anyway, there's my Billy Gibbons story where I got to hang out with Billy for 45 minutes and uh, it was all questions from him to me and me. I didn't accept, and, you know, but I told him, hey, you're my first rock show, Cumberland County Civic Center, uh, uh, Portland, Maine. <laughs> um, and then years later, uh, I, my, my, uh, a girlfriend of mine for a good handful of years, she was a jewelry designer or she is a jewelry designer. And, uh, I believe she still is. She must, she just can't stop. You don't, that's not something you'll stop doing. You know, it's, uh, there's no retirement in designing nice things. Anyway, she designed, uh, Dusty and his wife's wedding bands. And the only reason I knew that she did that, it wasn't like she bragged about it. The only reason I knew that was because she'd done that before we knew each other, years before. But uh, when we were together, uh, Dusty's wife came to her and said, hey, can you uh, brush these up? It's been, I think it was like 15 years or something. Something like that. So that's the only reason she told me that I even knew it. Otherwise, you know, she wasn't like, hey, oh. <laughs> look what I do. She wasn't like that at all. Well, I have a, I have two updates for you. Oh, son of a bitch! I in, got one too. <laughs> I this... piss my fucking pants real soon. Well, quick before you go to the bathroom in this little bit of time. My brother said you are using the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I hit the wrong button. Sorry. And. Uh, <coughs> I told Juan to go outside to investigate yeah. the sound. He said there's a frog on the, ra like right outside my window is the railing for the porch. And there's a frog on that railing. So I guess that's what's making the sound because it sounds like it's right here. There's it's no bird It's a frog and you didn't even know it was a frog. Is well, the it's frog going, sick? It's like quacking or something. It's going quack, quack, quack. I don't know what it is. Does, does Juan Chess know the difference between a frog and a duck? Yes. Ask him to draw. Uh, ask him to draw one of them. Draw and, the uh, frog, and okay. then uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll be right black. All right, let's see if I can figure these out. Lord, what have I done to myself? All right, the children's book series. Well, already I lost it because I don't know. The Mar Little House, the Martha Years by Melissa Wiley tells us about the childhood of which author's great-grandmother? Anyone? Anyone? Great. Let's see. L L oh, wait. Louisa May Alcott. That's the only author I know. I don't know. Here's my answer. Of course. Of course. All right. That's a throwaway question because I don't know what that is. I feel terrible. I'm so, okay. Historians now believe that the fountain pen was invented by which creative mind of the world? So why do I get these questions when he goes to pee and he gets a question like about a beard for ZZ Top? That's not fair. 
What do I look like? Anyway. Historians now believe that the fountain pen was invented by which creative mind from the Renaissance? Well, learn, learn. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci is the only creative mind I know from the Renaissance. Thank you. Okay, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. All right, my husband says a frog can make a quack like sound. Thank you, honey. I know they can make all kinds it's a weird sounds. I know that there's the, there's the, oh, that, oh, I'm freezing. There's the frog from Puerto Rico that makes cookie, cookie. So I know frogs can make weird sounds. And I, now I know frogs can quack because the one right there is quacking. All right. Historians now lean more and more to the belief that the fountain pen was invented during the Renaissance by Leonardo da Vinci. They base this on diagrams and his journals of a reservoir pen that works by drawing up ink and dispersing it by gravity. Further studies reveal that the handwriting in Leonardo's remaining writings has a uniformity throughout. You said dispersing. You're disgusting. Of the ink. That is usually the case with quill pens. Yes. Quill pen. What the what? Where what? Quill pens. What are we talking? Why? Why is uh, Leonardo so, DiCaprio here? They they oh. now believe that Leonardo da Vinci was invented was the inventor of the fountain pen. I thought that I thought that said diaphragms. I'm like Jesus, it won't stop. Oh my God! Get your mind out of the hoo ha. <laughs> Close. Up. Damn it! What's the, oh, there's a Rob. That was a Robin Williams things. joke. I think that was there was a Robin Williams joke on that uh, that an evening with Robin Williams what? was something about being born. About uh, so funny. We uh, spend nine months trying to get out, and we spend the rest of our lives trying to get right trying back, to get in. back in. <laughs> he, he ripped that off. No, listen. Just, that's an old joke. Listen. For a brain. You go to the bathroom, and the two questions I get: one is about the Renaissance, the other is about some childhood author. You know, from like way before the before times, and I don't know any of this. And then we come back, and you you come back, and we get a Stephen King question. What the hell? When I saw Cujo, I thought of the uh, what is the Spanish word for cu 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 for the culo? That's for, for the punani, right? Oh, that's butt culo. That's what... For the punani, no, punani is chocha. Chocha. <laughs> but I uh, know I thought cool. I thought Kulo, uh I, I got it mixed up. Chocha, that's right. Chocha. Tiene tremendo culo. Okay. Which Stephen King book might make you weary of picking <laughs> up your phone? You even get to learn some Spanish on the whip. What? Which Stephen King book might make you weary weary of picking up your phone when you see something strange happening? Picking up your phone. I know all of them except for Cell. Do you know Cell? Is that a newer one or something? That's that's one. That's the uh, that's the non-answer. Okay. Uh, that's the that's not, there was. I don't think there was a book called Cell. So it's got to be The Shining because Cujo and Carrie don't. There's no scene with like. No. Yeah, because all I can see is all I'm. Uh, aren't I seeing? No, uh, I know. There's. Uh, What's your uh, face, Anne? Picking Duvall up the phone. the phone. Picking yeah. up the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the shiny. I don't think there was a book called The Cell. <laughs> and, Excuse and with me. That, oh, sorry, I just did a rail. It's pronounced the shinning. I told you. Here's my answer. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh my god! I thought that 2006. was the bullshit answer. Yeah, I don't know that one. I haven't really followed Stephen King for a bit. Well, you shouldn't, because he's a fucking CIA so wanker. In 2006, oh, shit. Totally outlines a modern nightmare scenario in which a signal broadcast to all cell phones turns people into insane, violent animals. Stephen King did not own a cell phone when he wrote this book. That's probably total bullshit, number one. Number two, I have a Stephen King story, and it's very local. Um, okay. My land... Yeah, where am I facing? Yeah, where it ends... Uh, a few hundred yards where I'm facing mm -hmm. the next then the, it's the uh, it's a it's a place uh that we used to be a, a it it's not the campus is about a not quite a mile less than a mile away 
but it used to be a uh, mental institution. And Stephen King's mom worked there along with the other mental institution. That's where a lot of the inspiration for mental institution shit and his stories comes from, his mom working in one. This one, not too far from here, that used to Mm -hmm. be, it's no longer. But uh, it's a place where I used to, my uh, stepbrother and I used to go ride our bikes to go get get cigarettes when we were when we were youngsters, so we didn't have to go to the store, and then it was a small town, and uh, you, you saw your son trying to buy cigarettes at the store. Um, we could go to this place because it had a little 24-hour snack shack for the employees because it was a mental institution, so there mm-hmm. was uh, many shifts, and uh, but there was nobody in that little thing, and this is in the 80s, so there was a, you know, one of those old cigarette machines. Back, I think they were only fucking 95 cents. Oh, wow. And they let you in there? Oh, you could go right onto the campus. I mean, there was people, yeah, you could, there was nobody manning the, the, it was just machines. It was a little snack shack with, uh, you know, candy machine, soda machine, cigarette machine. Hmm. And it was open 24 hours. So we'd usually go over there. We'd usually ride our bikes there about 10, 30, 11 at night. Uh, Yeah, there you go. Anyway. A uh, little Stephen is, King story, uh, mm. or, or at least uh, Stephen King adjacent. Why are we getting the same question Sorry. again? Adjacent. I don't know, All because right. Stephen King sucks. Well, now we're going to get it correct. How about that? See? I told you. Now we got 100 points Fuck. that we can do nothing with. If anybody wants these points, check the Patreon. The there you go. What, Leb- what Lebanese fashion designer whose name might remind you of cars? Well, you already gave it away. Who, what? Is famous for stunning evening and bridal dresses. You know, there's That's no Wang, Wang car. There's no Wang car. There's no Coors car. Wang there's no car. Herrera car. Wang a car. Wang car. <laughs> have you, you ever driven a Wang? I thought it was Wanka. In Australia, it's pronounced Wanka. You fucking Wanka. This is so dumb. They already gave you the name, the answer. How stupid. I'm not even going to read that. You know what? I am not. Why? Because you're going racist? To give you the satisfaction you don't of read reading your Beirut. answer. No, because they cheated. Well, look, they got the. There's, uh, that's quite a fucking description, you know, and it'll kill some good time. All right, you read it then. Born in Brick. Born in B. A rut, be a rut. Mm-hmm. Born in Beirut in 1964, Ellie Saab. Is it Ellie or Eli? It's Ellie. It's got to be Ellie. Sabe. Eli. Started. Uh, Sabe. Started. <laughs> you know, it's the only time you see two A's back to back, kind of like with vacuum, <coughs> two U's back to back. It's the only two mm-hmm. times. Or what? Started his career. Oh, it's a he? I thought it was a, I thought it was a her when. So it's Eli. I thought it was a chartreuse. As a fashion designer at the ripe old age of eight. Oh my God, I can only imagine how that kid danced around. Using, welcome to Pride Month, using his sisters as models for the patterns he cut out of newspapers. Oh, at least he wasn't, well, at least he recycled. In uh, 1981, Juan, Jess, he moved to Paris. Uh, did he, I wonder if he, I wonder if he visited Pierre Lachaise to study fashion, but soon afterwards returned to Biarut, where he is still based. Oh, oh, they're saying he's based? Oh, yeah, I'll bet he said a bunch of shit that ain't based. Oh, they meant something else. To open his first atelier, I guess, right? Atelier? Ah, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> specializing in bridal dresses. Jesus Christ, this is so not gay. Not Made with Expensive fabric and a lot of attention to details such as embroidery and ooh, beating. Yeah, that's Be-ating. it. <laughs> His fame quickly spread, mm, as did syphilis outside Lebanon, and attracted the attention of international high society. I told you they were fucking high. Rail cokes. Rilla Cokes. <laughs> Let's go with the Mexican. Uh, I don't know. It tastes better out of those bottles. Okay. That's what they call the ones in the old bottles. They, oh, they call yeah, it Mexican yeah. Coke for some reason. It's so not racist. Uh, they drink a lot of Coke in Mexico. 
This motherfucker is definitely CIA. Who, Saab? Oh, totally, man. To be uh, doing dresses in the car, doing it all, man. He, he's connected. No, but no, he doesn't. Totally connected. He, he, not, he may be a double-headed dildo. When? Now, Saab, he's definitely a bottom. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sabe. Uh, <laughs> workshops. You know, they have fisting workshops. Oh, my God. Do they? You know this. You know this. It just, it just, I forgot to look in my notes. Of course, yeah, I know this. Yeah, I, I've been around. <laughs> but the only reason I said that was because it ju I just remembered that mm -hmm. I put some extra notes. I went to text myself and I forgot to look at those, re look at those, and write them down mm -hmm. because you had tweeted, uh, Oh, the balls clip from 147. Mm -hmm. And then it made me think of um, milk and a cow. <laughs> and mm -hmm. my actual quote tweet was going to have something about fisting in it too, because it made me think of, oh, uh, there's a story. Oh, uh, but we, we got to get, we got to get close for this though. We got to get close for this. Okay. Um, see, uh, when I, <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Not only do I know how to fist, to, I said that wrong. I'm, I'm fucking up my own shit. Even though this is all real, not only do I know how I, I milk a cow because I worked on a dairy farm when I was when I was a child. What was I? Sixteen? I think I was sixteen, seventeen, uh, fifteen, sixteen. Anyway, both my stepbrother and I worked there. Uh, it wasn't around here. It was somewhere else. Uh, up, it was, uh, it was, it was up, uh, the devil's anus. <laughs> Sorry, um, I was just thinking, I, I, I got a glance at myself and went, maybe you should do the Thor hair. And I thought of Ragnarok. This is one of those distraction things that the AI talks about. Mm -hmm. I'm off topic. Where was I? Shit. Oh, yeah. Nothing oh, cows. shit. Didn't mean, no, 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 yeah. We worked on a dairy farm that was close. And um, uh, some days we worked together, but most of the time we, we flip-flopped. If you worked Monday, I worked Tuesday, but on the weekends we worked together. Me, me, I, I'm, I'm scared of whoever that is. That said That's my worked. brother. That's my oh, brother. Of course. Oh, One sorry. of my brothers. I have two. <clears throat> anyway, um, so come to find out when you work on a dairy farm and you're doing all the milk, well, come to find out, come to find out, come to find out. Sorry. He got Matt, stuck. Hold mix. on. Yeah. Little Max headroom thing. Anyway, um, God, the uh, the uh, the farmer that we worked for, he was kind of a he was kind of a weak man. He was older and he was weak, so he couldn't do it. And uh, my stepbrother said, "Fuck you, I ain't doing it." You know, see, it stay gross. You know, fuck, fuck de, de. he ain't doing it because um, one of the cows uh, was constipated. So that affects them giving milk. Mm -hmm. And of course, when it's given milk, you don't want to get the, the, the least amount of uh, drugs in its system will go into the milk, you know. So you want to do things more natural when they have a problem. So what I'm getting at is I was the one that had to put this big glove on that went to my shoulder. And uh, my stepbrother uh, held its tail back towards its head with a rope tied to it so he had a good grip so he wasn't just holding the tail he had it you know to, so I wouldn't get hit with it while uh, you know I uh, juiced up my arm and went oh my god <laughs> and, uh, and dug out what needed to be dug out oh. was I, I think I was 16 and uh, nice. so yeah so uh, I learned what fisting was very quickly yeah, from a young age, I was, I was, I was underage. Seriously, this is, this is, this, this. We can go to court for this shit. <laughs> I said shit. Um, didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. Uh, 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 I was trying to think of another word for shit. Feces. So, yeah. So, uh, so that's why I'm allowed to make. You know how it's how black people are only allowed to use the N word. 
you know, and, and Hispanic people are the only ones that are allowed to say spick. Uh, I mean, uh, the S word and, uh, <laughs> you know, and so on, you know, mm-hmm. well, because I can make fisting jokes because I fisted a cow. So there, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, AI Alrighty. is going to, AI it. is obviously going to fuck that shit. You, that could be all yours. Worse than I fucked it up. But anyway, I was so, the, the biggest, my biggest fear wasn't that I was, you know, digging into a cow's asshole and pulling out a fucking boatload of shit. Uh, God, so disgusting. I love it. My biggest fear was my stepbrother was going to let go of that rope and that <laughs> fucking big old tail was going to come right down on the top of my head and go, boom. And then I was going to hear, as I was, as uh, I was losing consciousness, I was going to hear, ah! These, you know, I told you we're going deep. This is why I told you we, this is why we had to get close. You know? uh, my brother says he loves beef too. <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's got so many meanings. I know that's a shot at me for you know having my arm up a cow's ass. But did he just? Is he anyway? Is this Pride Month? <laughs> All right. Don't do it. See. Don't do it. Don't do it. What? Green. What? All right. Are we are we done with the trivia? Or you want to find another one? Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Here we go. Sorry. Do I, I want to find like another this... one? Yeah. Are we talking? I don't about like this question. Brains. I don't. I don't like <laughs> it either. And I can't skip it. It won't let me skip it. This is bullshit. Exactly. Thank you for your... Oh, you know, I've heard that a lot. (laughs) I've heard that a lot. Especially people who say that they like beef. All right, general. General knowledge. How about general? We have to have some type of general knowledge. This is what they needed for that. They need... Oh, go back. Oh, shit. We got to get a screenshot of that and then a screenshot of both of us doing this. Point to the... Point into the camera. Just straight, just straight. This isn't gay. This is this part isn't gay, <laughs> right? And then so put those two screenshots. So it says only you, you know, kind of like the only oh, you, like the you, you know, the 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 fucking look at this one. Name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that too. But with the only you thing, you stick them together. See, okay. it just keeps getting this. Man, it just all this in and out. <laughs> now I'm hungry for a burger. In and out. Oh. Uh. In and out, in the old in out, in out. That's a quote from Clockwork Orange. My point being, uh, one, you know, it's the, the to put it, make a screenshot, take them both, and stick them together, uh, uh-huh. like the uh, the 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 fucking guy wearing the flag suit with the looking like uh, Uncle you, Sam. Uncle, that thing with we want you or that thing. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, only you or what? You get what I'm saying. Yes. Moving the fuck on, anus. Oh, movies by movies from the eighties. We could do this one. Oh, I'm gonna kill this one. I will murder. Where'd drag and drop. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm right here. God, man, that's... I've heard that you can drag oh, and drop, that's... Wayne, from the right to the left. Uh, we're back to the or balls. Clay. On the balls. On a right side answer box and then on a left side box. Whatever. You don't have to tell me how to do it. Wheelbarrow for his balls. That's a Bill Hicks thing. What? Get out of here. All right. Dolly Parton. CIA. Musician playing bosses. Oh, Dolly Parton. Hello. Dolly Parton. Where is she? Jane Fonda. Wait. Dolly Sorry. Parton. Sorry. Sorry. On Golden Pond, actress playing daughter to her real life father. Fonda Jane. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's at the bottom. Oh, Charles Manson told a really disgusting story about Jane. Woof, woof. Austrian actor as Baron Bohr Blixen in Out of Africa. Uh, Austrian? Is it Arnold? No. no he's not. Yet. He is. No, he was not an Out let's, of Africa. Let's keep going. It could Scroll be Rutger down. Hauer. Scroll down for the other answers. It might be Rutger. No, it's that. Or Klaus? Yeah, I think it's 
maybe Klaus. hold on let's go back. Let's, let's do the let's, next let's... one right one flu of that's the christopher business. lloyd that's uh, doc brown uh christopher where is he right here he All right. has one of his great lines in that movie. He, I think he says it to Danny DeVito. You're so fucking dumb, I can't believe it. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. Musician And then playing... they went and worked together in Taxi. Oh, did they? Auntie Entity. Ruthless ruler of Barter Town in Mad Max. Where's ba Tina? Barter Town. Barter Town. That's Mad Max 3. A lot of people say that's the last one. Comedian who, along with Bette Midler, played two sets of twins in Big Business. Sting. Okay. What? Lily I Tomlin. Don't that one. I don't know either, but Lily Tomlin and Bette Midler did movies together. Bodybuilding actor. Why do they make it so easy? Last of a group of soldiers oh, Predator, encountering yeah, that's an Arnold. alien. That's Arnold. Oh, did you see? Oh, my God. He just put out a video with Podesta. Oh, my God. No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Touch. Wait. Uh, Blade Runner, that's Rutger Hauer. Okay, wait, oops, Rutger right here. Oops. Musician playing Fade Rautha, nephew to Baron Puck. That's well, it's got to be Sting. He's the only musician. And then David Prowse is Darth Vader. All right, David. And so, yeah. Klaus Maria Vettel. It was Klaus. That was the correct one for that one. Of course. Get, hey, come back. What up, bitches, hamkies, fucks? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> submit my everybody got a ten. Of course, everybody got a ten. Okay, submit. Oh, oh we have to go through Dolly Jane, Klaus. We got Wolf. that one right. Christopher Lloyd. Tina Do your Turner. homework on that. What did Charles Manson say about Jane Fonda? Oh, Do boy. your own. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Rutger Hauer, Sting, and douche. David Rose. Douche. A perfect score. Nice job. Douche. Uh, because we've talked so much about no. sex, now it's time to douche. Right. Famous movie twosomes. Tough. Oh, yeah? You think it's tough? Watch. I'll fucking murder it. A fucking million. What do we got left? What time is it? Oh my gosh, we're doing it. This couple sang and danced their way through ten pictures together, nine of them for RKO. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no wonder it's tough. You have to put in the answers. There, there ain't no... Uh, that would be... Uh, what's it called? Bing and Crosby. No, I'm kidding. Um, um, Laurel and Hardy. No... Uh, Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers? Then that would be Fred and Ginger. That's who I was thinking, but that's not true. So you have to put their whole names? Th oh, three words. Okay, Fred and... Or is it their last names? Astaire no, and... No, Roger. no, actually, I think you're right there. Fred and Ginger. I think All that's right. right. Thin Man. Ah, oh, son of this a bitch. This couple started in the popular Thin Man. Maybe I'll come back to that one. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yeah. Whoops, I got too close. This, to duo. this duo made seven road pictures together for Paramount. Road pictures. Road. Well, oh, back to Christopher Lloyd. Where we're going, we don't need roads. 1940 to 62. Oh, man, I got no motherfucking clue. This operatic couple sang their way into America's hearts in such films as Naughty, Mary, Naughty. Jesus, it just doesn't stop. And Rosemary. Operatic. We are so fucked. We Why don't are. they give you a hint? Let's just put Fred and Ginger for all of them. This couple met on the set of Cleopatra well, and that started would several be, more films. That's, uh, you know... Douche and and, and uh, bomb. <laughs> Look at what comes up, Palpatine. <laughs> oh, from the old one. Oh, that no, the Cleopatra. Um, that's uh, that's uh, uh, Elizabeth Taylor and Raw and uh, and uh, and. Uh, and uh, oh, who was Richard she married Burton. to? Richard, Richard Burton. Burton. So Burton and Taylor. Oh, that's what they meant by three words. Okay, now I'm. Geez. This two is some paired for the I first was thinking time. Some of them were have this weird ass. 
Anyway. Oh, grumpy old men. Um, I know. Oh There's God, who are those two? What would that be? Uh... <sighs> grumpy old men. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. Oh, Is man. it M A Meth Math? It's A U, I think, or one. I think it's only one T though. Hopefully they don't get you on that. I don't know. This, this comic duo oh. start. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't even need to. Is it A V T T? Two Bs? No. I think it's two Bs. Yeah, kaboo Bs. See, it just doesn't stop. Twenty minutes left. Oh, I mean twenty-five. Shit. A couple on and off the screen. This king of cowboys and his lady started over twenty-five films as well as their own TV Dale series. And, wasn't that uh, Dale and uh, Dib, 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 Roy and Dale? Dale, Dale, Dale. You know Dale, 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 Dale. Roy Rogers and and uh, right, Roy and Dale. Isn't that Rogers. Right? Roy and Dale. Is that what they called themselves, Roy and Dale? I'm trying to think of her last name. Dale is the lady. <clears throat> Roy and Dale, Dale, Dale. Da, 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 da. Oh, obviously McBee is talking to me. Hello, hot stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Although never married, at least not to each other, this couple was together from their first film, Woman of the Year, to his death in 1967, a few weeks after completing their last film, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? That would be... Uh, 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 Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn. All right, Trace. Is it Tracy and Hepburn? This pair. How many heartburn jokes did that bitch have to go through? This <laughs> pair starred in nine films together, including Mrs. Miniver in 1942 and That Foresight Woman in 1949. Oh, Mom and Dad. Is that for number ten, Mick Rogers and Evans? Dale Evans. Yes, Evans. Rogers and Evans. Oh, it's the last names. There you go. Roy and Dale. Rogers and Evans. Um, this comedy team made 17 films together in the 50s at war with the Army to 1956's Hollywood or Bust. Bust! Now we're at titties. Before they're celebrated or face. Big old nose. You know what a big nose means. <laughs> Usually uh, bigger glass things. Before, Before their celebrated, celebrated breakup. Whose breakup was celebrated in 1957? Oh, that had to have been my grandparents, right? 17 films together. 17 films together. Oh, no wonder they broke up. Oh, they just, yeah, I would have was it. it um, was it Mickey Rooney and what's her name? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> Mickey Rooney. I'm going to say it's Rooney and, oh, my God. I know What's, who you're talking about. Uh, Liza you, Minnelli's mother. Garland. Uh, uh, yeah, Judy Garland. Rooney That's and, probably wrong. Rooney, Rooney and Garland. And Garland. I, I don't know. That's probably wrong. I don't Oops. think they were together. No. Uh, Yikes, no. I put it in the wrong box. Of course you did. You always put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> Jesus, this is disgusting. Rooney. Man, this fucking podcast going to need a con. Garland. This Hollywood couple met on the set of To Have and Have Not in 1944. We're married in 45 and remained a couple. That's what I couple. look at my, when I'm jerking off. That's what I'm rubbing one out. It's like one hand I go to have and the other one, of course, to have not. What? No. We remained a devoted couple until his death in 1957. When did Clark uh, Gable die? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, my oh, God. Oh, These are like old movies. How old do they think we are? I, and they said it was tough. <laughs> oh, to have and have not. Tallahassee. Yeah, let's make it Tallahassee. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. I don't know. <laughs> Chat, J where are you? Chat, where are you? You got the, I had the yeah. J-Lo and Kanye. You know, you know. You know, Mr. Beckham being a government agent, you know, he should be, uh -huh. uh, he should be, you know, fucking cheating and giving us the answers there in the chat. Fucking asshole. As teenagers, this twosome starred in 10 pictures together. Oh, Martin and Lewis. Oh, that's right. Is that what it is? I don't know. One of them is. Or Mar Martin and Lewis were married? Okay. Martin <laughs> and Lewis. 
Wait, Hollywood team made 17 films together. Is that 11? I think my brother's like way back. Oh, let's do that. Let's do. Jane no, it was. Garland. Was it. Wait, Judy Garland. What was the name of that guy that she dated that did movies? Was it Rooney? It wasn't. Was it Mickey Rooney? I don't remember, dude. Martin. Right now, I'm a loser. Yeah, let's, over here. let's try that. And then as teenagers, <clears throat> Love Finds <clears throat> Andy Hardy. Oh, um, and um, Hardy. Oh, my gosh. What was it? Hardy and... Laurel and Hardy. Laurel. Laurel, Laurel Canyon. And, yep, Hardy. There we go. <clears throat> this writing and acting duo won an Oscar in oh, 97 for their film Good Will Hunting. That was Affleck... Oh, I have to scratch it. How do you spell Affleck? A F F L E K. K. I think there's just K. I don't know. Affleck that's wrong. and there's a C. There's a okay. C with the K. What's the other guy's name? And what's the dude? The other dude? Oh, my tongue still. Ben itches. Affleck. Ben Affleck. And the other guy. Oh my God! What's his Matt name? Matt Damon. Damon. Because he's uh, again another Swahili. Half of this comic twosome hailed from England, but they entertained audiences of all nations with their antics for over thirty years. One of their most memorable endeavors was Babes in Toyland. I've heard of Babes in Toyland, but who is this comic twosome? One from England. In the thirties. Jerry Lewis and no, we already did no. Jerry Lewis, didn't we? We already did Lewis and Martin, Martin and Lewis. Did I put Mar? I put Marin. Hold on, Martin. Uh, babes and oh, fuck, dude, I don't know. Babes and Toyland, nineteen thirty-four. I, I know the name of that. I know that. And then there was a band called Babes and Toyland. Could it be uh, like? Could it be? <laughs> Who's the guy with the cigar? George Burns? Oh, Burns and Burns. Allen. Is Burns it? and Allen's got to be an answer. Burns and Allen. Gracie. I hope I spelled it right. All yeah. right. Uh, Here we go. Gracie, she'd say. Yeah, yeah. Gracie. Man, All right, let's up see. With my nose. Oh, man. Let's Luckily, see how many we got. was not cut. What? Okay, Fred and Ginger. Astaire and Rogers. We did get it right. Because it is said, Fred Astaire and Ginger oh, oh, Rogers. Oh, 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 They oh. wanted the last name. But we got that correct, so that is not wrong. We got it correct, so that is not wrong. Look at this. Powell and Loy. Oh, what did I put? Oh, no answer. Nothing. <laughs> That's bullshit. I don't know who those people are anyway. They didn't I even didn't. give us a chance. Oh, we knew, but oh, those are the ones we skipped. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. What? I didn't go back. Oh, we Bing skipped and, some. Bing and Hope. Bing yeah. was a Bing was a bad man. Was he? That's what they say. All right, this operatic thing. I don't know because I. What the fuck? How many did we forget? We skipped like three of them. We got Burton and Taylor, Damn, right? Girl, are you? Oh, man, I thought I was the one drinking. Speaking of which, where's my joint? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, so, see, yeah, like, Burton and Taylor. That was the easiest Burton one. Burton and Taylor. Oh, and no, then, that was the lemon and lemon and uh, math. That was the easiest, actually. Was easy also. Well, Tammy and Sue Cle Cleopatra. <sighs> that was the Disgusting. Oh, Abbott and Costello, yeah. That Something in my note, and I know it's not a bat. It might be a bug. Oh, my God. Rogers and Evans. Oh, dude, I got the... There's a fucking skunk. Are you serious? Yeah, somewhere close by. You prick. Is that what's making your nose go crazy? Uh, no, it's just, no, but just from the uh, super inhalement. Uh -huh. Either that or I just really fucked up my membranes by doing that. And oh. it just, maybe I'm having a stroke. Could be. No. Because I have the window open because I smoke in the weed. Uh, yeah, I smell a skunk nearby. Motherfucker probably got run over. Go ahead. Ooh. 
Tracy and Hepburn, we got that one right. I guess oh. who's coming to dinner? That one was cool, right? That was one thing when I was an ec, when I was a reactor, because I don't like, I, I, I don't like the, I never called myself an actor. Uh -huh. Whenever somebody go, oh, you're an actor, I'm like, well, I actually rather say reactor, because if you're doing it right, you're reacting. If you're not doing it right, you're acting. Acting. Uh, acting. Mm -hmm. The theater needs you. I'm going off to sell Volvos. Again, that's from the Robin Williams, An Evening with Robin Williams. See, mm -hmm. it all fits <sighs> like a nice sandy dildo. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was I saying? What was I saying before the so you're theater? So you reactor. Reacting. Uh -huh. uh, right. Why did I say saying about the actor thing? What was before the acting? Oh. Why was I bringing up being an actor? Rogers and Evans, this pair starred in nine oh, films. When I was back at one of the things we years ago when I first wanted to be, it was, that was one of the things I wanted. I was like, uh, uh, like have that, uh, that, that team sort of thing. And like, what, who, one, oh, you know, mm -hmm. and always hope to sort of have certain of the, not dancing wise, but maybe, you know, part of it, you know, I mean, cool. Anyway, who? But I didn't date actresses. I only dated hostesses. All right. I don't know who Pigeon is or Garson. That'll be funny in five years. <laughs> Martin and Lewis. Thank you, Mick. That's Walter and Greer. Pam Greer? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sugar. Uh, whoa, 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 <clears throat> it was Bogart and Bacall. Oh my gosh, just I like knew Bo that had to have been an answer for one of them, but I just kept forgetting. Humphrey, oh, is that who you meant by cigar? Having a cigar in the mouth all the time? No, I was thinking of George Burns. Of course, I got that one right already. Laurel and Hardy, Rooney and Garland again? No, they can't no, be that, No, 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 You that was the one you got... You got you yeah you used it but you uh you know you got that one wrong but the actual answer was one that you answered with the other one before. See what I'm saying? The one before you answered Rooney and Garland, it was wrong. Oh. The actual Rooney and Garland right answer was the next one. The next one, okay. You still saying you still saying? Oh my God, mm -hmm. I'm the one that's supposed to be fucked up, homeboy. <laughs> Continue. This writing and acting duo. <laughs> Affleck and Damon. Oh, yeah. Boy, is that the only dude, dude duos on this? The rest of them are female and male, female, right? When all Martin and Lewis. Oh, like I said, they're all, they're all female, male, right? <laughs> Your answer, Burns and Allen. The correct answer, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, back to the canyon. See? Sandy Dildo again. Six out of 15. They said it was tough. Fuck them. <laughs> it was worse. Yes, it was. Torturous, even. No shit. Yeah, ask the whips. Sheesh, exactly. Oh, they usually have like a little fun question at the end. We'll screw their questions. Yeah, well, and screw those fucking shoes. It's like walking on clouds. Yeah, and you know, you know and I've been sort of doing that for years. I've been doing it almost since high school. Uh-huh. You do a thing where, like my sneakers, they st you do it where you don't have to tie them. So what mm -hmm. I've always done with my sneakers, and I learned it from a friend in high school, where you tie them to where they're pretty much going to be the snug because they're going to stretch anyway. And mm -hmm. then you just kind of knot them off right there. So then you can slip them, boom, boom. And I've been doing that shit. And they finally, you know, even though... I, I taught my kids how to tie their shoes. I did know mm -hmm. that it was going to come to an end and they weren't going to need to know. But then I said, no, you're going to need to know other knots. Uh, shit, I was going to make a mom joke, but I won't. <laughs> I meant not head, not head. Uh -huh. not, not nothing. Yeah, I wasn't going uh, the usual round way this thing is going. What's the next fucking thing? Can you move on? Because <laughs> we don't have a user right now. Oh, you were talking about shoes. <laughs> oh, threesomes. Oh, three movies, one actor. Th 
Three movies, one actor. Oh, I want to do this. Work where you write. That's what I'm doing right now, motherfucker. High Fidelity, Top Gun, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Top that would be gun. Tim Robbins. Okay. Wait. He was in The Spy Who Shagged Me? Wait. Or was it Rob Lowe? Well, Top Gun, Tim Robbins and Val Kilmer were in Top Gun, but Val Kilmer was not in High Fidelity that I remember, and nor was he in The Spy Who Shagged Me, or was he? I don't remember. You know, remember Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins was in Top Gun too. He was, he was, but you didn't. You, but yeah, he was one of the other pilots. Yeah, he was kind of like the other one of the go, a goose from one of the other teams. Mm -hmm. Right, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. Wait, well, that, that was your first impression. Yeah, because I don't remember. I don't really remember High Fidelity. Mm hmm. And I. Yeah. And I know, you want yeah, a hint? Yeah, because Tim Tim was in Tim was in Austin Powers Spy Who Shagged Me. Val was not. And we, yeah, I got it right. Let's go. All right. Yeah, but go ahead with the hint, just to make sure, because this will prove it that I'm right. Yeah, it's one of these two. Yeah, because you scratch Val off. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. I'm always right. <laughs> Ash, Steel Magnolias. Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke, that would be Stacy Keach. Stacy Keach in Up in Smoke is the cop that gets high from uh, pulling him over while the van's on fire and he gets high from smelling uh -huh. the van. Yeah. It's so goddamn funny. One of the greatest scenes. Look it up right now. Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke, Stacy Keach. Singles, Malcolm X, The Outsiders. That must be, that's Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon, that's what I thought. But I don't. I didn't see Malcolm X, so I don't know what he did in there. He probably played somebody that Matt Dillon played. Caddyshack. Speaking of sex, see, Jesus, all the way a minute fifty-two, right on the dot, said sex. It's been nothing but sexy, sexy shit. <laughs> sexy shit. There's the title. Uh, we have to put an e on it. Shite. So they think we're from Ireland, and uh, mm -hmm. they don't get it. Caddyshack, speaking of sex, Hamlet 2000, that has to be Mr. Fucking Bill Murray, because I don't think Chevy Chase was in a Hamlet, even though I know he was in Caddyshack, and I don't remember speaking of sex, and I'm falling forward, and go ahead with it. We Bill get a hint. Let's get a hint. I'm, I told you. <clears throat> I don't think Casey Affleck was alive for Caddyshack, unless he was an extra at two years old. Maybe. Rumblefish, Rumblefish. Ed TV, Apocalypse Now. Dennis Hopper? Yes. I think either so. That, either that or Lawrence Fishburne. I don't remember anybody else in Ed TV besides McConaughey, and I you don't hit? really remember. He hit me, hit me, hit me right across the ass. I told you it was Dennis Hopper. Lost and All Found, right. The Great White. Ho oh, geez, this is so racist. The Tree Amigos. Oh, that would be holy Three shit! Amigos. I do not fucking know. It must be Joe Montana because it can't be John Lovitz. Maybe it's John Lovitz. Mm, Ooh, I, I don't remember John him Lovitz. in Three Amigos. I fucking hate John Lovitz. Then it's Joe Montana. Better lighting. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, CB4, Jumping Jack, Flash. I don't Chris know. Room? I don't know because the only person I know from Jumpin' Jack Flash would be Whoopi Goldberg, and I hate her too. I don't know if she was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I don't. It, I don't think it would be Chris Rock. Maybe Albert Brooks. Oh, hint. This is a hard one. See, we're back to fucking sex. Oh, we got three hints left. for quiz. We're all out of hints. Fuck you, game. I'm going all right. with. Let's go with the whoopee hate. I fucking hate I don't know if she was in the... Dead Poet Society, Alive, White, Fang, Racist Again. Ethan, Hawk. Let's just pick him. Bounce. Bounce. Oh, yeah, pick his butt. Bounce, yes. Hook, Shakespeare, Love and Shakespeare, Ben. Sure. No. 
No. Was he in Hook? I don't remember him in Hook. I don't remember going to Paltrow in Hook. No. I don't. I don't know what the fuck bounce is. Was she, um. Oh, who, uh, was head she was, Tinkerbell? Her head, was in the, her head was in the box. Was she Tinkerbell? Back no. in the hoo-ha. Different kind of hoo-ha. No, she was not. That was uh, Julia Roberts. Ooh, okay, don't no. like her either. We'll just leave Ben Affleck. Sure. No? Kevin Bacon, Dustin Hoffman? I don't know. I'm fucked. I think it's Ben Affleck. We'll stick with Ben. Malice. The Thin Red Line. Wyatt Earp. Bill Ooh. Pullman. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's probably wrong. We're down to four minutes. Enemy of the State, born on the 4th of July, play it to the bone. Tom Ooh, Sizemore. Bone, bone. <laughs> he did. Tom? He stits up. Broke down palace, little women, to Jillian on her 37th birthday. Oh, look who's there. Kate Beckinsale. That's who my Jeep is. That's not the one, though. Is that right? I don't know. I don't think it's right. Who do you want to pick? 94. Michelle. I don't even 94. I don't even think she had played Alice in Alice in Wonderland yet. Claire I don't Danes. know. Uh, sure. Airborne, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, oh Enemy God, of the State. See, shagged. Fuck. Yeah. See, all the I way know. to the fucking 56th minute. I know. Seth Green? I don't know. Sure. Seth Green. We'll pick Seth Green. Dutch, that thing you do, disturbing behavior. Ethan Emery. Okay. Can't hardly wait. Picture perfect. Cruel intentions. Tara Reed. Sure. Sean Patrick Thomas. I'm going to pee again. We're just making. <laughs> Don't pee. All right. Oh, we've only got three minutes, Ooh. literally. Oh, look. We at got that. Tim Robbins, right? Fuck yeah. I told you. Oh, what the fuck is that? Tom Skerritt. Whatever. Matt Dillon, we got that one right. Singles, Malcolm X, Outsiders. Bill Murray was right. Caddyshack, speaking of sex, Hamlet. Fuck. Dennis Hopper was correct. Rumblefish at TV, Apocalypse Now. Oh, correct answer was John Lovitz. Lost and found great white hype. I don't remember him in Three Amigos. It was no. Phil Hartman. Oh, I almost picked him, I too, for Pee Wee's Big Adventure season. Or in Jumping Jack Flash. There's a Phil Henry Dead story. Right? Somebody Society said alive. I could, when he the day he died, I come back from lunch and Adam Kirshner coming down the hall at IOD in, in the Hollywood building there, where I said, you know, go out there, break that fucking guy's neck. Um, he comes back and I thought he was talking about Phil Henry. He's walking down the hallway towards me and he goes, "Dude, you hear Phil died?" Because news radio was on before, you know. And uh, I thought he was talking about Phil Hendry, and then I heard he was talking about Phil Hartman, and I went, "Ooh, gross!" Both of them okay. were gross, but it was like, "Whoa, whoa!" It was like a, it was like a one-two punch because at first it was like somebody else, yeah. and then it was relief for a second, and then another fucking hit to the other side of the jaw with Hartman because you know, he, fuck, dude, it was great. yeah. All right, um, I told you it was Gwyneth. Thin Thank Red Line, Bill Bill Pullman. You had that one. You got Tom that one Sizemore. too. Like I said, he stits up. Claire James. See, I back to tits. 58th too. minute. We're talking tits with the tits, and I didn't even mean to. Wow. Look at that. All the, like, oh, I green. just picked up. See, how many green? times have I said green today? I. Oh my God. Too many? All the ones we just picked <gasps> up. I got the Ethan right. I just said that so I could go pee. Sean <laughs> Patrick Thomas. All right, 10 of 15. That's not bad. You know, Sean Patrick Thomas is. Wait, Sean Patrick Thomas. Is that? No, the, no. Wait, that's not the dude from Boondock. Sean, that's Sean Patrick Flannery. Who the fuck oh. is Sean Patrick Thomas? I have no clue. Gee, that makes two of us. But he was in all three of these movies. That can't be right. Well. There ain't, there ain't, no, there ain't no such person. Fun trivia says so. That is some, that is some honky ass bullshit. It's a lie. It's a lie. I'm telling well, you, it's a lie. You know, that would have been one of the, that would have been um, uh, one of the uh, uh, drops to play uh, if we had the board up, but we don't uh -huh. have the board up and I'm fucking late and hitting the goddamn music and it made me mad um, because, uh, because I like it being on time. Anyway, mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. fun. Love you, brother. Love you, sister. Whew. 
It ends so fast. Look for yourself. We're just fun babbling lecturers. Remember, all Neo, a.k.a. Juan Saran Long, had to bump comedian Andrew Dice Clay again. Thanks, Gary. Damn. Daddy loves you. Messing with my peebles. That's what I'm talking about, my brothers and sisters.